Okay, so today, I, this morning I was watching the news, Channel 7 News, and yesterday I was watching Channel 11 News, and uh, they came up with a topic about Mayor Bloomberg stating that the FBI said, all right, that ever since they banned guns here in New York, crime has gone down. Well, that's pretty funny, Mayor Bloomberg, because why is it that every time I watch the news in New York, there is a violent crime, if not a violent crime, then more than three violent crimes reported in one fucking news newscasting every single day. More than five, usually. And, and you know, usually it, it's it's always the same M.O. Either it's criminals with guns or just criminals in general jumping people wherever they can, robbing stores, um, even killing people, robbing people's fucking homes. Oh, yeah, this morning, two, two people broke into someone's house robbed everything under the christmas tree even i'm like what the fuck is this bullshit and yet this and yet crime has gone down in new york no it has not gone down in new york it has just become more sneaky <clears throat> and often criminals don't want you know often criminals are breaking into places where there's people but no guns and in every other state other than Chicago crime rates have gone down because just about everyone's armed with a gun I mean the, the old saying still goes an armed society is a polite society but in the meanwhile to Bloomberg crime has gone down where 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 has the crime gone down Bloomberg because when they said on the news that because of the gun ban laws New York crime has gone down right afterwards they show a news clip of an old woman getting jumped in her, her her own apartment building's elevator and robbed beaten up while this this thug is holding open the elevator door five four or five fucking times and then going back to beat her up about five or six times before he leaves no Bloomberg is a fucking liar. And I'm not one I, I'm I'm all for the amendments as you can see. I'm not I'm not a gun owner per se, although I do support the right to bear arms, but I'm just saying. And and then there's these people who say, Oh, if you own a gun you're a terrorist, oh if you own a gun you're this, that and the other. No. It's not guns. Guns don't kill people. People kill people. Common fucking sense. If there's a bad guy with a gun and there's a good guy with a gun, the good guy with the gun is going to stop the bad guy with the gun. And let's talk about first-person shooters here off, off, off the subject of Bloomberg being a lying fucking control freak. First-shooter video games. I play first-shooter video games all the time. But you know what? That's entertainment. That's fucking entertainment. The, the video game console I have, right over there, the Xbox 360, I play Gears of War 3 on the PS. I play a whole bunch of first shooter games on the PS3. And you know what? I don't have a single urge of violence because I know it's entertainment. I know that those have a reset button. Now, if I was some sick, whacked out weirdo on Prozac or something, um, and I go shooting up a school or whatever, which I, I'm i not because I'm a live and let live kind of guy, unless, of course, someone threatens my life. But I'm just saying, it, well, not me. Let's say someone on Prozac or whatever, a Prozac head goes into a school. If there was armed guards willing to use their weapons to protect their lives and other people's lives, this wouldn't have happened. There, there, there's been reports of, of teachers in certain other states or, or whatever that, or an armed guard in, in another state or whatever that, that had a, a weapon, a, a firearm, and, and before anything could really happen, he took care of the problem. 
But no, everyone wants to sprint ahead. Sprint forward. First off, let me just say, as I've said before, if you have a kid who's not all there, you shouldn't. First off, parents, until the kid is, there's a reason why there is a mature content label on a video game. Because if someone is, if, if someone has a kid who's not all up there, they should read the label and know that it's not for that freaking kid. If the kid is not 18 and does not understand the concept of reality and in fictional entertainment or entertainment in general, they shouldn't be having these video games. That is why there are warning labels on the video games. Does that not make sense? And second off, if someone has a mentally disturbed kid, then why the hell do they have guns in the first place? And if they have guns around that kid, why don't they get trigger locks and a gun safe or put them in storage or get rid of them? Obviously, someone lied to a gun shop or something. I don't know. But what I'm saying is... There's a lot of shit going on, a lot of lies being thrown around, a lot of people who are very emotional. I can understand. If I had a kid, I'd be very emotional, too. But I'd take some time to think about this shit. Because there's an old saying that an armed society is a polite society. And here in New York, I've lived in the ghettos of New York. Let me tell you something. Crime is rampant. So, Mayor Bloomberg, I, I have a question for you. I mean, crime went down, really? Because in the news, I hear about crimes all the time, and it's sickening and appalling. Gun violence, yeah. But then again, you got people who, who either cause crime singly or they cause crime in large groups. How do you explain that? Every day, I hear more than three reports on people attacking people and robbing people and molesting people and all those other all this other stuff. How do you explain that? Crime went down? Really? Where? In Manhattan? Crime crime went down where? In Manhattan? Around where you live? I tell you what, buddy. You go walking around... Uh, I tell you what, Bloomberg. Go walking around... Um, the bad part of Brooklyn, without your little armed bodyguards. Go walking around there and see what happens. Crime went down. Yeah, that's why you. That's why Bloomberg. That's why you need about four or five fucking armed bodyguards, right? You know what, Bloomberg? You're a fucking liar and you're fucking pathetic. And I'm a live and let live kind of guy. I'm 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 not saying that you know I'm I'm not saying or implementing that that any harm should happen to anyone. It's actually very sad when a coward takes a weapon that is supposed to be used for home security or self protection and uses it in the wrong way. And I really gotta say this world that we are living in. It's just fucked up. Well, that's that's about all I have to say in this video. Other than that, um, Bloomberg, you're a fucking liar. And everyone take care and live well.